Hello friends, thanks for tuning in. Today I got a little bit of a low-tech, low-budget project for you. I've got a titanium muzzle brake that I want to add a little color to. Now this thing is very attractive looking in its current state, but I'm going to use this rifle for hunting. So what I want to do is dull it up just a little bit so it doesn't shine so much, but it's still going to have some appeal. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, here is today's unsuspecting victim. This is a titanium muzzle brake from Anarchy Outdoors. Now I did choose the polished. Like I said, I didn't want it to be this bright shining thing on the end of my rifle to tip off the game, but I did want to make a fashion statement with it. So I did choose, like I said, the full polish. So now what we do to change the look of this thing, that's a pretty attractive looking brake. Of course, it's marked 30 cal, just in case you forget. But what I'm gonna do is the fact that this is made of titanium, we're gonna hit it with some heat, and we're gonna let that rainbow through this thing just to knock a little bit of the flash off of it, and it'll still look very nice. So the first thing we gotta do is degrease it. Second thing is we're gonna place it on, this is a fire brick. We're gonna place it on this fire brick, of course, you got to have a little bit of fire. So let's go ahead and degrease this thing and let the baking begin. And of course, with every good plan A, you got to have a good plan B. Got some whole kernel corn for the chickens. If all else fails, we'll make some popcorn. All right, we hit this thing with some good brake parts cleaner. Now that brake parts cleaner will get all your greases off of it so you don't get any fingerprints. And of course, we're gonna lay it down like this. And those blue shop towels did a really good job at not linting up. Better put on some PPE and I fancy in my $3 safety glasses. Okay, for my base, I am using a fire brick. Now, when I was in trade school, they taught us not to weld or torch on concrete because it can actually pop and explode on you. So this, I had a fire brick. So this fire brick is gonna serve to be my base. Whatever you choose to use is on you. But I think I've got this thing straightened out. But now, for some reason, this was like finding hen's teeth. Of all the things that I thought would go disappearing, Propane bottles. Apparently there's a shortage of propane bottles. Maybe it's only in my area, but not yours. But anyway, I had to get the uh, fancy push button one because all of the pencil tip ones are gone and the bottles cannot be found. But either way, let's go ahead and throw some flame on this. Let's zoom in here. Boom. So now my plan is to hit this thing on the top and let it sink down and still leave a, bit, a little bit of silver around the bottom. So I want just a little bit of silver. Hopefully this thing colors up and cooperates nicely for us. Here's the first bit of color. Sweet! Now let's let that heat soak. See how it's gonna color out. That's looking very nice. All right, so we've let it set to see what kind of colors we got. I kinda of wanna darken it up just a little bit more. Let's try this.
so this is the brake and of course there is all your part number and information there now this thing was relatively inexpensive compared to some other brakes shipped it was just a little short of 70 bucks not bad at all so let's continue to let this thing cool off a little bit well, all right guys i hope you enjoyed this episode we played with fire and didn't burn anything down i'm almost disappointed by that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing also check out my patreon account of course we always need a good thumbs up and an awesome comment y'all have a wonderful day i love you